87 Monte Carlo SS. What you see now, I'm back on the uh, Venice Air. I'm gonna do the condenser part of the of the uh, Venice Air. Go ahead and put this bracket in. This is the bracket for the uh, condenser. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in place. This is my transmission cooler that came off my Impella SS. The very first one they had. So if this was good enough for that 4L60, I don't know how many rows it is, but I'm gonna try to use this. Save some money somewhere. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna fit inside that condenser on the outside of the condenser. We'll work on that when we get to the transmission lines. But right now, I'm gonna stick this condenser in place and uh, go from there. Okay, a few minutes later, I got the condenser and the dryer in. Um, it's leaning forward. We'll stop my three inch um, radiator that I have to get. And I also connected my uh, transmission cooler, cooler. Went right behind the uh, inner cooler. And so, uh, it's a test run to see how it's all going to fit in there. But I really can't put this piece on yet until I get my trinary switch to go on down. It came with a binary switch, but since I'm running electric fans, I need a trinary switch. So I better wait to get that before I hook all this stuff up and hang it up. And we'll go from there. Okay, after coming back from uh from Summit with the wrong part, of course. So that means I had to take it back. But anyway, I'm out here trying to do some wiring, not trying, but actually doing some wiring. And as much as I like keeping my engine bay clean, now I'm beginning to see why a lot of guys' engine bay are not clean. I'm gonna keep mine as clean as possible. And so, uh, yeah, I just wanna get that through. Well, here we go, let me continue to wire. Okay, just came back from Summit. I took the old fans off the uh, Amazon radiator. It's a nice little three row. This thing is quite thin compared to that. Even though it's the three row, but I'm having a hard time trying to put the, put the shroud on that with it. I'm gonna end up putting the fans on it because I don't want to take a chance, since I'm an amateur welder, and I don't take a chance welding that. Because you can't really put no screw down in it because you're going right into the vents. So I gotta figure something out if I want to use the shroud. If not, I'll just be using the fans. But like I said, it's a new radiator right here good to go and if you want some fans with it i got some fans to go with it trying to use that shroud not sure if i'm gonna be able to do it because i don't want to screw nothing in there and i definitely can't weld it i'm too much of an amateur welder to try to weld that but i'll figure it out in order for the new radiator which is like three inches wide in order for it to work this beautiful new core support that i just put in I gotta cut that. I gotta cut that lip off right there. You stick it right into the, the bands of the radiator. So it'll, it'll be the same size as the rest of this. But yeah, I gotta cut that off. So hopefully I don't mess it up. And if I do, I have to beautify it again.
Now, hopefully that won't look as bad when I remove the cover and the tape. Let's just get the file. Day done came to an end. I guess I'll resume tomorrow. Well, as you see, I'm plumbing the supercharger. Running my hoses. No good place for me to put my um tank. But I'll leave it right there. I don't even have a good place to put my pump. I guess what I'm gonna try to do is hang it right here. Yeah, try to hang it right there. See if I can wheel that down, I'll try that tomorrow. Maybe I'll come up with another idea before I come back out here tomorrow. But the brother's tired, we call it a quits. Getting it ready for the nose to go back on. Okay, new day, I'm back out here. Well, I just finished piping in my supercharger and I got my lithium battery right there. I'm gonna put some power right there on the pump. And I got my water hose going into the tank. I'm gonna fill it up with water, see if any, there's any leaks. Once I fill up water, I'm gonna, let the, I'm gonna let the pump circulate and see if I can find any leaks over here. Between those two lines, and right at the pump itself, and back right there at the um, intercooler. I definitely want to see if there's any leak in the intercooler. The water gonna leak down before I start putting the good stuff in it. So let me fill the tank up. Hold on, as you guys can see, that with me. I gotta open up this uh, nozzle here. Trying not to get the water everywhere. Just go right over into the pump, but you know, we'll see. I got the pump a little lower, just a little more about a half an inch lower, but it's still enough where the uh, air freeze or whatever I use should go right over into the pump. The tank is nearly full because the water is down in there. I do hear some coming over into the pump. So hold on. I saw some bubbles, so that means some was flowing down to the pump. So now what I'm gonna do is connect this negative wire to the pump on the lithium, and we'll see if any water pumping. The pump is running. move that slow but it's moving slow but I don't see none coming through the return yet okay since I sensed the change the holders around connect this charge oh let's do it charge is popping right there are no leaks up here Right there. I wish I could find some kind of way to put this down, but I think it'll hold. I'm gonna try to scrap it some kind of way because I don't want to put no welding on this of aluminum. I'm not gonna do aluminum like see this good weld well right here. I'm gonna bust a hole in the tank. But anyway, yeah, we got those leaks right there. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let me button this one up. 
I can see it's beginning to actually resemble the 87 Monte Carlo that I pictured. Of course, I'm still sticking the nose on. I gotta go up to the hardware store to get some new screws. The screws done rusted. Some of them, a lot of rust on them. I'm just gonna replace a lot of them that I can find uh, with new ones. Uh, just to bring you guys up to date on where I'm at. Um, of course, you saw that I uh, plumbed in the supercharger. Make sure none of those things was leaking. I even found me a uh, core support radiator. The uh, radiator support right there. Chrome. Got it from eBay. I mean, um, Amazon. So that was pretty cool. Um, pretty much done covered a lot of the wires. I only have three wires left on these three relays right there. Um, you see that little bump box right there? I, I put in there. I didn't know how it was gonna look, but it's okay. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna go to uh, finish putting the body together. And then I'll jump back on the wire. Of course I need somebody to help me with this stuff. But boy, that stuff is touching right there. But it's not really, a lot. like I said, I'm not really lining it up now. I'm just putting it back on. Hopefully the uh, body shop can line it up real pretty. But yeah, it's beginning to look like a car again, so it's, I like it. I'm going to dive right back in. And uh, yeah, I want to see inside that grill. That fan is in the perfect spot. The wind is blowing directly in it. I don't know about this thing. I need to straighten that out. But yeah, we'll see what's going to be happening on the next video. Smooth out.